Where's that artifact Kira gave me? Who are you? You know who I am, and why I'm here. I do. You needn't. I'm no longer a threat. I starve, for the swamp is poisoned. I've no strength to hunt humans. Crone summon you? In my sleep. Once I had wolf dreams. Now I dream hunger, pain and blood. Where is she? Out there, in the swamp. Is there no other way? There's one. Find the crone. Guide me through the swamp to her. And then? Then we'll see. Ah, the crone. What's she done to you? Stole my daughter's medallion. If I may, why risk it? The crone will fight. Like a hounded wolverine, she'll fight. She may cripple, even kill you. Find the girl a new pendant. Her sorrow will pass in time. No, it won't. My daughter's dead. Go. What's your name, werewolf? Barum. Lead me to the crone, Barum. There's a wolf den nearby. Wolf cubs inside. Carry them out of the swamp. They'll not survive here, or they'll change into something evil. I sense a wolf. And men. How many? Ten, no more. Stay out of it. What are you doing here? A she-wolf's been on the hunt the last few days. Killed a cow, wounded a man, so we set some traps. Stupid beast walked straight into one. <laughs> Once she tires, we'll set the hounds on her. Have us a wolf baiting. What happened to your ear? What does it matter? None of your plowing concern. Release the she-wolf. She's not weakened yet. She's raging. No, she's good as dead, but is yet to accept it. Get out of here. What? You dim in the head? Beast killed our cattle, and she'll keep hunting. Damn animal. It's the plowing enemy. It's her or us. My sentiments exactly. <laughs> we'll fly you alive, you wretch. <laughs> One cub lives. Come on, no time for that. Won't survive on its own. Lead me to the crown.
She's close. Somewhere here. Go back to your wolf dreams, Barum. Save the cub. Go away, far away. Find yourself a comely wife, Wolf, and live. Let me help you. No. Remember. Like a hounded wolverine, she'll fight. She could kill you. I know. Now go. Patient sisters. I sense him. He comes. You shall yet have his soul. His pain, his icy suffering will be yours, and you will feast on him. Soon, sisters. Very soon. Come out. I sense your pain. I see your fear. Look about you. Feel the hatred. You slaughtered the dragon for a fistful of coin. They would see you suffer while you've lost your claws, wolf. The prophecies do not lie. You cannot survive this struggle. Cyril is dead. Naught but a small frozen corpse in an icy wilderness. And you are afraid. You feel fear. You lie. I don't feel a thing anymore. Changed. You suffer. You seek death, I feel it. I know the smell of soul's breath. Dwarves do not lie. That little girl, her cursed blood. She slew my sisters. I am alone. It's your doing. I can't work on this. You must die. Stay out of it. You've changed. You suffer. You wish to die, Witcher! You wish your suffering to end!
Radovid had many faults. He was cruel, impetuous, and pathologically ambitious. But he was a tactical genius. That's undeniable. Commanding forces far outnumbered by his foes, he handily defeated the invader from the south. The Redanian Eagle spread its wings, taking all the north, including Novigrad, beneath them. With victory in the war against Nilfgaard secured, Radovid proceeded to complete his witch hunt. As they had in Novigrad, pyres burned in Temeria and Edirne, lands now liberated by the Redanian monarch. In the drive for moral renewal, simple herbalists, pellers, healers, and non-humans, all supposed heretics, were murdered in droves. For many, freedom beneath Radovid's scepter proved more tragic than servitude to another. As long as his armies went from one victory to the next, Emir's subjects remained boundlessly obedient. When a string of humiliating defeats proved Var Emri's fallible, the opposition, thus far secret, attacked. The subjects of the Emperor who had danced on the graves of his foes laid him to rest in a tomb of his own. Many islanders believed Svanriga would be no more than his ambitious mother's puppet. The young king proved them wrong, ignoring her whims and ruling with an iron hand all his own. Tired of the Jarls and their endless feuds, he resolved to turn the Isles into an absolute monarchy, modeled after those of the continent. What he resolved, he achieved, but only by shedding his countrymen's blood. As for Siri, that's hard to say, since the events on Unvik she is yet to be seen.